check my clicker. It works great. Hi, everybody. I'm Steve Lehman. Um, I work with Portal Innovations, and I am very hungry for a Nutella sandwich. Um, I hope that there are some out there today for us to eat. Um, so I'm going to spend 15 minutes talking about Portal Innovations um, and how we partner with universities and city ecosystems um, in order to help advance promising science from pr the pre-seed stage um, or the aha moment in a lab all the way through multiple commercial steps until they raise a Series A and beyond. Um, we really build innovation ecosystems. Um, and we've been around for about five years doing the work that we do. We're excited to be uh, coming to New Brunswick. So Portal Innovation solves a very particular problem um, that we pinpointed at the University of Chicago about five years ago. And this is that um, in emerging ecosystems that have a lot of great science, um, a lot of these ecosystems don't have commercial infrastructure in order to commercialize that science. Um, and so science stays in lab notebooks. Really, really interesting science. Some of the science you guys are uh, hearing about today and what a lot of you guys work on. It just stays in a lab notebook. Why doesn't it get commercialized? And so we saw this really at the University of Chicago with a number of different startups that we would fund internally uh, that would grow, and then they'd have to move to another city in order to grow, or they would just stagnate. And we decided we want to build the infrastructure that's going to allow these companies to grow in their own locations. What is that infrastructure? How do we build it? What do we do next? And so we started talking to scientists and getting a picture for what are the things that are holding them back. We knew some of them ourselves. Um, but as we started to look at our ecosystem and ecosystems across the country, we started to see that there were a number of different components that were missing. And frankly, um, commercializing biotech is just becoming harder. And so the, uh, the presence of all of these different tools um, in coordinated ecosystems that Portal can put together is becoming more important than ever. So, uh, if you're a biotech entrepreneur today, you've created a technology out of your lab, you have your aha moment, what do you need to do next? There's all sorts of different things that you need to do um, that aren't necessarily things that you've been trained to do historically. You're gonna have to be able to hire a team that can do commercial translation of a technology. You're gonna need to be able to raise capital. You need to locate this startup somewhere um, that has the lab infrastructure that you're used to in your university that's ideally close by to the uh, place that you're located, but has some other specialized equipment that allows you to be able to extend your experiments from the location in the university to an outside location. Um, and so Portal helps kind of put all the different resources together to make that possible. So what we help is folks to access resources that they need, and then also to navigate changes. Um, and this has become a really important thing for the companies that are uh, focused at building at Portal over the last couple of years. R the change in regulatory landscape, the change in investor appetite for certain assets, um, the adjustment of capital markets to a number of different macroeconomic conditions that uh, both preceded and then followed the current administration in Washington. All these things make it really hard to um, commercialize a biotechnology. So what we bring to the table are three components. We, first, we find a partner in an ecosystem that has great science and is building a dense uh, ecosystem in a work, live, play environment. And we bring th three things to bear. Physical infrastructure, financial infrastructure, and human infrastructure. And we call this combination crafted capital. It's crafted very particularly for companies from the AHA stage in the lab to a Series A financing. The first piece is physical infrastructure. So you can see here some examples of projects that we've worked on over the last five years. Physical infrastructure that is connected to a vivarium, ideally, and a research tower that has a vivarium that's got all of the different wet lab equipment that one might need um, that can be shared across different community members, different members of uh, Portal. Over the last couple of years, we've expanded from Chicago to Houston, to Atlanta, Boston. Now we're moving to Rhode Island, and we're working with uh, university collectives as, as well and coming to New Brunswick. The second piece is financial infrastructure. And this is what my team works on in uh, the, the uh, venture investments team at Portal. And the role that we play is to make small, 
right-sized investments into companies at just the right stage in order to get them across the particular milestone that's going to attract gobs of outside capital. Our ideal time is to come in at a pre-seed or a seed stage, do a ton of diligence into a scientific idea, make sure that all the components are there, and then put our money to work that other investors can see that Portal is involved, Portal has underwritten the scientific team and commercial risk of this technology, and they can come in and say, oh, a lot of the work has been done. We can invest in a deal. We know that this is a backable deal that other venture investors will get behind as well. So we do that, and we've invested over the last five years in a number of different companies. Um, one of the examples that I'll bring up is a company that spun out of academic research, uh, a physician-sponsored trial at Baylor College of Medicine in Texas. Um, phase two clinical trial focusing on a very uh, rare type of, hot, of lymphoma. We came in, were able to reposition that asset, put in a 500K check, and just two years later, they've raised $50 million and brought in investors from both coasts in order to move that technology forward. This is part of our financial infrastructure piece that we bring to play in emerging ecosystems. The last is human infrastructure. And you know, this is a, a, the, a little bit more nebulous piece that comes around, how do you get the right people in the room in order to catalyze a biotech community that has enough density to be self-propelling, to get that snowball effect? Who are the people that need to be in the room to make that happen? Of course, you need to have founders who understand how to translate biotechnologies. They need to be partnered with excellent uh, translational scientists coming out of our universities who know how to partner. But you also need specialized skills, chief scientific officers, um, development officers, regulatory experts, all these different folks. That's changed a lot since COVID because you can work remotely, but you really want to be able to bring all these people into a dense ecosystem. And then surround them with all the other resources that they're going to need. Um, folks in pharma who can help direct a technology and point it at particular indications or targets of interest. Um, also, venture capital groups that th these companies can talk to over the course of their lifetime. And so by bringing together this physical infrastructure and this financial infrastructure, essentially what we do is create a watering hole of innovation that attracts all of these other species, so to speak, of people that are necessary in order to advance a technology all the way from that aha moment to the Series A. In addition to that, we set up very particular programs that are calibrated to our individual ecosystems. So one example is called Portal Bathbreakers, where we work with pharmaceutical companies that have very particular areas of interest, and we help them find under-the-radar research in communities that aren't Boston and aren't San Francisco. Another one is called EX Cubed. EX Cubed is a program that we run, uh, a business unit that we run that connects partial, um, part-time, expertise into the startups that are supported in our uh, community at Portal. And then the last piece that we do is help people navigate innovation ecosystems. Um, and this is through a, a toolkit called Stargaze, which I and a small team have developed over the last four years in order to take some of the emerging technologies from the AI boom and also this field called meta-science, um, the science of science, and apply those to the tasks that scientists who are looking to translate technology have to do. I need to be able to find KOLs who are going to validate particular use cases for my technology. I need to find pharma partners who are interested in the very specific thing that I'm working on. I want to find investors who have invested in and are still investing in things that are closely related to the technology that I'm building. And I want to do that simply. Um, because of the network that we're building across the country, Portal has been able to put together a, uh, a core data infrastructure that allows us to do that at scale. So what Stargaze does is it reads every single paper, every patent, every grant, every clinical trial. It connects them into an innovation universe and allows all of our members to be able to get their location in that innovation universe, find where they are, see their external neighborhood, and make connections with the right people so that they can find that partnership, so that they can hire the right CSO, so that they can find the right investor. And so this is really kind of bringing all of the, the different components that Portal offers into one piece. The physical infrastructure that companies need in order to launch out of a university, the financial infrastructure that allows them to sustain their operations and hit critical milestones, 
the human infrastructure, all of the different people that make this thing possible, uh, that make a startup possible, both uh, employees for the startup and people from the external community, and then the tools to be able to navigate things as they change and find the resources that they need and bring them into the community. That's what Portal is. Um, what we're excited for next is building here at the Helix. And uh, I look forward to, to meeting everybody around this ecosystem in the coming months and years as we dig in and uh, help build startups out of the technologies born here in New Jersey. Thanks.